Okay, so when he actually sent me off, it was, it was a moment of disbelief, actually. I could not believe. I, I, I knew what was happening. That, that was big. It almost went like slow motion. Like my, it's like my whole world was ending because getting, getting sent off, yellow cards are right. Because yellow card, you just jog off and you know you're going to come back on, hopefully. Um, so the, the quicker you actually get off for a yellow card, I learned this, the, the time starts. So you get off the field as, as sharp as. But red card, it's like the slowest walk of your life. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I knew the impact that that had. Uh, it was Northampton's first ever final in the Premiership. It was against our, our rivals at, uh, with Leicester. Um, that season had been, you know, perfect for us. We, we, would, we were flying. So, you know, off the back of that, I'd let down not only the team, but like the town. And I say like the town because the rugby club here in Northampton is the town. It is like a a pillar in the community. People kind of convene there, they meet there. And that's why it's so important. Um, and then like personally, uh, I'd been to the Lions camp the week before. Uh, we'd done like the, is it the, like the messy Monday, but mm. it's a Sunday. And uh, I got all the kit and all that sort of stuff. I even did the squad photo. And then they uh, photoshopped Bestie's uh, head on top of the body. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I, I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, it was just pure disbelief, if I'm honest. Um, you know, it was a pretty, pretty long walk of shame. I went straight to the change rooms and um, had a moment with myself. Halftime, obviously, happened. And I thought the, the easy thing to do here is just to sit in and... Um, you know, I even thought about getting like a taxi home, just out the out the fire escape kind of situation. But I thought the right thing to do is just to to front up and and sit on the bench, full well knowing that I'm going to have every camera poked in my face mm. and um, all the photographers were there. Um, and then at the end of the game, I easily could have just shied away from not getting the losers' medal and confronted my teammates. But I thought I've got to I've got to front up here. And but I did the the right thing. I obviously did the wrong thing to get sent off, but I did the right thing in, in my mind as a as a teammate and as as a bloke to to front up and and get on with it. Uh, it wasn't easy, but then um, I obviously had views and and thoughts, and there was an avenue to challenge that decision. Um, but being the the grubby kid that I was, it wasn't the the situation to do it in. The Lions tour had already started. I wasn't really going to catch up on that tour. I rang Warren Gatlin and just said, crack on without me. I'm just going to take what's given. Um, because you got to remember, like me, me challenging the ref, um, the ref's employed by the RFU, the disciplinary is the RFU. There was no way I could win that. Um, and there's actually a, a moment there where Wayne Barnes actually said he saw me call him an effing cheat. And if you kind of freeze frame when the words were muttered, I did say those words, but not aimed at him. Um, he's actually looking the other way. So if, if we went to like crown court, if this was like a, an actual serious case um, in the court of law, like I could have got that thrown in the bin, but I just thought it's, it's too big a story. Um, I'd had played a lot of rugby that season. Um, and if anything, whenever I got suspended, I actually saw it as like a sabbatical and a chance to rest my body. Um, so I must have went to Los Angeles and had a nice holiday. Um, I love LA. And I watched, I watched the Lions tour and I enjoyed all that. But um, yeah, unfortunately, it's one of those, one of those things that um, I had to go through. But um, yeah, interesting. 